Hey guys, this is Zach with JNZ Dumpster Solutions. So what we're going to do is two things. We're going to integrate the Badlands um, wireless controller with the KTI wired controller. So we're going to have two functions. We're going to have wireless and wired, just in case you know one of them goes down. You always have a backup. So stay tuned. This is We went to Harbor Freight, we got the Badlands with the uh, wireless controller, um, 39 bucks really isn't that uh, expensive. But what this video is supposed to do is show you specifically how to wire up the KTI hydraulic pump. Uh, the universal hydraulic pumps for dump trailers uh, are universal, they have screws on top, all you have to do is get um, connectors with the wires, put them on, screw them on, and you know it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, the KTI one is much uh, is a little bit different. On the solenoids and the hydraulic pump itself, it doesn't have screws. It's all wired in. Um, what I mean by that, like let's say the solenoid, right? The wire that goes to the solenoid to activate the solenoid, that it's not screwed in. It goes into the solenoid and then it's shrink wrapped around. Um, kudos for uh, KTI because you know they want you to buy their you know brand name equipment to use you know the plug-and-play wireless controller um, so I wanted to do something that would not you know cutting into any of the wires or, or anything like that so I came up with an, uh, an idea that is less evasive and it would uh, do the same job as um, any other universal uh, uh, wireless controller so here it is. All right, so what we're looking at is I took the top of the wired controller off of the KTI wired, wired controller, okay? As you can see, we have, we have red, which is down, green, which is up, and then white, which is power. Um, so all I did was connect the, the um, brown to the red and then the blue to the green okay and then your power is your yellow and green for uh, i'll throw something up on this on the side to show you okay so those are the color coordinates i didn't care if it was uh you know brown on green or uh, or blue on red it, it doesn't matter because the the wired controller itself um it it really doesn't matter which way it goes in and out as long as you know hey this one's going to be going in and this one's going to be going out because what I see a lot of times this sticker peels off super fast so I didn't really care which one's on which um, so all we're going to do is put that right back on and then you still have function of the wired controller and now you're going to have function of the wireless controller the only thing that I had to do because I didn't know any other way. I thought I could just cut through here and, and the magnet uh, sticking to the steel uh, inside the box would you know make the ground, but it doesn't do that. Uh, maybe if I scrape off the paint, it would do it. So I wired a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of length of a wire to put to the ground. Once I put that to the ground and this would automatically uh, function correctly. Um, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You're probably saying, oh, well, then you can't use the wire controller. You can't, you know, stand 10 foot back with the wire controller if you need to use it. Worst case scenario, if you do need to use the wire controller because your wireless isn't working, you can always disconnect that real quick and then, you know, stand 10 foot back to use it. Me personally, I don't stand, you know, five or 10 feet back to watch the dump trailer go up. I just, that thing stays magnetized inside the box and I press up and down inside the box. I've never had any issues. I know maybe on a safety wire you shouldn't do that. Um, me personally, that's what I do. So this little bit of a ground isn't gonna play too bad, of, or to, you know, affect me too much, so. Let's go out and uh, hook this up and I'll show you. All right, here you go. So here's, here it is. Up. Yeah. This is gravity fed. So.
right guys, so here is the inside of it. Um, wired controller. Uh, works perfectly. And here is my Badlands wireless controller. All I do is have it, all I do is keep it in there and just let it let it sit in there. I don't really care about mounting it. Um, like, like I said before in the videos, there's my 10 to 15 foot of uh, cord for my wired um, KTI controller. Like I said, I, I'll, I'll, I leave it right here and I use it right here anyways. All I have is it uh, raveled up and uh, zip tied. I keep that under there and that's where I'll keep my Badlands controller it would be in, in between there. My ground, all it is is raveled up with my other wires I have nice and neat and it's plugged in. Okay, other than that, that's pretty much it. Clean um, and that's how you'll do it.